Well, education is so important and I was raised to believe so as well. As an alumni of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, I have to say I'm a little biased here because I love the education I was given at this uh, place I call home. Now today, many of you may be thinking it's time to begin or refocus on your career and college education. Today, I have Andy and Jeannie with me here from Texas a and University Corpus Christi to discuss your options on returning to school or beginning school. Thank you both for joining me. Let's start with whether or not it's too late to attend TAMU CC for summer or fall of 2021. Thank you, Clarissa. No, it's not too late. Anybody that's interested in coming for the summer or for the fall semester has plenty of opportunities to do so. Obviously, the summer semester is a whole lot closer. So the earlier the students can submit their applications, get all their documents in and be processed, the better. Uh, May 15th is a date that we can work with as far as helping students to gain admission for the summer. But for the fall semester, in order to get best service, we're encouraging students to apply and submit all their documents by July the 1st in order to be able to do that. But certainly we'll be working with students all the way to August. But it is not too late. For those that are continuing students, registration is currently underway. And for those brand new students or those even transferring in, it is certainly not too late. And the staff throughout enrollment management is willing and able to work with all students to gain admission to the universe. Brand new students, those who are either first time uh, in college freshmen or brand new transfers, or even students who are coming to graduate school, you need to go ahead and apply for admission to the university and submit necessary transcripts in order to gain admission to the university. Now, we are currently test score optional for first time freshmen. If they don't have a test score, we do need a high school transcript. All they have to do is submit that along with their TSI scores and their immunization records in order to gain uh, all the preparation in order to get into the university. The most important is to get all students to, of course, complete your FAFSA. So in order for us to be able to offer you any financial assistance for the, for the summer term or for the fall term, that's the most important thing. So we encourage all students to apply early. Um, so of course, once we receive your FAFSA, we start awarding funds. So the sooner you get yours in, the best award package you'll receive. So we encourage everyone to just apply early. Our financial aid office works individually with students as well. Um, if they are unsure about things or have to supply certain documents, we do encourage them to reach out to our staff. Uh, they're very, very good about working with an individual's uh, situation, but also our scholarships and financial aid areas work with them to meet their cost of attendance, but also beyond that, we'll work with them for the entire period that they're enrolled. Good to know. I know that's one thing that can be intimidating. College in general, if it's your first year coming in, you're scared to ask for help, or if you're a procrastinator like myself, it's just one of those things that gets beyond you. So it's great to know that the help is out there. Lots of people ready and willing, so don't be afraid to ask if you're watching. We are looking very much forward to being um, back here on campus in the fall. Now, I will tell you that we do have a complement of, of classes that are offered online completely, but we also have a complement of hybrid courses that are both online and um, in person and then of course our in-person classes but i will tell you that throughout the time our faculty throughout the pandemic have delivered education to our students regardless whether or not it's been in person or online we delivered it in a format where they've been re uh, responsive to our students where we've also provided resources for our students to be successful and those resources are not going to change whether or not they're in person or online there'll still be tutoring available there'll still be supplemental instruction in certain areas you know so there will still be opportunities for that engagement uh, that was either in person online or in a hybrid why should we choose to stay here at texas a m university corpus Christi? one of the things that we have that makes us unique is we are very much a community here on our campus when you come on the island we have students who choose to make this place their home throughout the coastal bend, throughout the state of Texas, around the country and around the world. It's a special place. We have some students that we hear from with the pandemic who don't wanna leave, who wanna stay closer to home for a period of time. And that's great and we'll work with them in order to be able to do that. Then we have those that are coming in that say, I really want the excellent uh, touch that we provide our students, the personal interaction the excellent education that they can provide here. So there are a number of reasons to do that. And I will tell you, what we always encourage students is come on by, take a look. You know, come by, if you haven't been on campus in a while, or if you've never been on campus, 
come and take a tour, experience what we have to offer. It is truly something unique that we have to offer here. So there are a lot of reasons why you come here, but more than anything else, you come here to be an Islander forever. That's right, Islanders forever.